Welcome to the Lathrum channel, everybody. My name is Matt, and today we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, somewhat uh, a little bit of important information, and that's hard cases or soft cases. Now, for those of you who are photographers or filmmakers or any other profession that requires you to invest in electronics, uh, you could either be, you know, something professional, intermediate, completely amateur, or you can even just be something like a you know, a drone or a UAV pilot, you know, one of those nice little helicopters or octocopters, hexcopters, whatever you want to call it. There's been a lot of talk about whether or not you should go soft case or hard case. Now, to be quite honest with you, I prefer hard cases. You can see a couple of them here, and these are what I will invest my money in to protect my investments. Now, when you're talking about three, four thousand dollars worth of camera equipment, audio equipment, things of that nature, you really want something that's going to take a beating and not give in. One of the biggest issues in play is something that we have to deal with in Western Pennsylvania and Northeast Ohio all the time, that is water, some kind of precipitation, whether it be rain, hail, sleet, snow, what have you. Almost every other time you go out and film anything or you go out for photography, any other time you go out, kind of like today, there's a, I think it's a relative of 95% humidity. And it's supposed to be raining later on. For something like that, you want to ditch the soft case. I don't care if it's made out of 100% treated and coated Cordura or leather or something like that. I'm not going to take any of my equipment out into you know an on-location scenario if it's not completely sealed. Now, both of these cases are what is considered IP67 standard. Now the 67, if you're not familiar with the IP ratings, your six is saying that it's essentially dustproof, and the seven means that you can submerge you know, the cases in one meter of water for 30 minutes and you don't have to worry about any water aggression. That is something that you want. Now, it doesn't matter if you're just filming outside or if you're filming on a boat or next to a lake, what have you. Any scenario that you're going to be around water, I would suggest saving up a couple of dollars, investing in a hard case that is waterproof, go with a tried and true name, don't cheap out, don't hop on eBay and get something that you're not going to be able to rely on. Go with a decent name, one with a decent record, and one with decent reviews. You can't appease everybody, but at the same time, if a majority says, hey, this is some good stuff, you need to look into it, then by all means, save up a little bit of money. I, I understand cases are not cheap, but I would rather spend $200 on a case and protect you know, a $1,000 camera or $5,000 worth of equipment, even buying a $1,000 quadricopter. I'd much rather go that route than potentially losing and having to call insurance and do all that. But that's it for me. I think I'm going to get out of here. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I think I'm going to hook up with Ladder 49, see if I can fight some fire today. I'm out.